Hey guys, Pretty here. Welcome back to Planet Zoo. Here we are for another episode of our Hunter Valley Zoo series. So I've done the last build, as you can see, of our little snake area or snake enclosure. We've got this, the, um, I think these are the death adder snakes. Yep, common death adders. We've got the giant burrowing cockroaches in the middle here. Let's make sure. I'm pretty sure I did give all these guys. Yep, that's all good. Um, and I've also done the eastern brown snake in this side so you can see there's quite a few snakes in here at the moment there's five snakes so we are breeding like crazy at the moment um, which isn't a bad thing um, I'm looking at doing a few more a few more um, exhibits or habitats down here um, the next habitat that we have at Hunter Valley Zoo along this side would be uh, the fox let me just try and find exactly where it is so I've got it, the, the Fennec, or the Fennec Fox, which obviously we don't have one of those in Planet Zoo at the moment. So that was the next spot here. And then the spot after was tortoises. I'm pretty sure there was the Galapagos tortoise and also um, another tortoise and also an iguana in with the tortoises as well. But I don't think we can put iguanas on the ground. Maybe just like the Komodo dragons or something, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. So... What we need to do now is um, we certainly need a quarantine set up. So let's have a look at facilities, uh, staff facilities. Where's our quarantine? Don't know if I can actually put it there. We can. So good, we can put it there. The guests won't actually see it, which is great. We can get out of that now. All right, so the plan was to put in the little... Um, fox area here we don't actually have foxes so what I've actually done is gone and purchased some African wild dogs um, which are here so African wild dog we'll move you into the quarantine center and I've got other things here that I've got from another another zoo which is weird I don't know why they're there we can actually trade them either can't get rid of them which is annoying yeah, we can't actually trade them, which isn't, uh, maybe we can actually, we could actually use these guys. That wouldn't hurt. Um, there's a couple of babies there. Uh, baby, so you're an adult. That's a new one that we purchased, a few babies as well. So maybe we could use these Galapagos tortoises to our advantage, um, that are here, that I've used in a zoo that I was sort of just mucking around with, um, trying to get a whole heap of conservation credits, but sort of just took forever and really got nowhere so I figured we'll just go back to doing this what we do best so for this area here um, the African wild dog needs 1100 square meters and a grade 2 boundary okay so what I want to look at is go actually do a path again I want to align to this grid get that going a little bit because I want to work out exactly how many square meters certain things are so grade 2 certainly want a chain link fence the whole way around um, maybe not the whole way around but we'll have a look so let's go 10 meters I want to start like right in the corner that's not 2 that's not 10 that's 2 Right there, let's go. Obstructed by something. And this is the weird thing. Never wants us to join. Okay, that's telling me we're obstructed too. So let's come back out of this. Um, don't know if we can actually move the whole thing. Okay, let's get back out of that. I thought we would have been able to move the whole thing. Maybe not. Alright, let's try again. Let's leave a little bit more of a gap, I guess. So from that log to this log, like that. Go across. So we go across 10 meters. 
this is where it's hard to you know line things up. Let's go about that. So we can't. Oh, there we go. We can actually join that. So if we have a look at this now. Um, so I don't think it's going to let us do it till we put a, a gate in. So let's, let's try and work out roughly where the the center is. Around about there, I guess. So that'll tell us 100 square meters. So we need. 1100 square meters. So if we go to barriers, chain link fence, that's the worst thing though, because if we go like this, delete that. Um, don't know if we can actually delete that. Alright, let's go from there, go plus. So to keep this thing going again, I want to try and make sure we get it nice and square, which is not the easiest way to do it. So let's go that way. Put that back to there. Uh, can we get, I want to get rid of this fence completely. There we go. And how much is that? 400 square meters, so we need to still add more and more and more. Um, it would be nice if there was a way that we could actually move the whole thing. And edit the whole barrier, but I don't think we can. Let's go add. Alright, from there, let's go add. There we go. So try and Make sure we get this straight. Uh, into there. I don't think that's quite straight, but we can have a look at that later on. Um, edit barrier. Get rid of all of that. I look now, is that 1100? That's 900, so we need to like go out again, which would give us probably 1200, I would say. Now let's go add another chain link fence. This way, that way. Join those together. Get rid of those. That should be 1184, which is what we need. We need 1162, so enough. Grade 2, uh, doesn't say how high. There's no climbing requirements, so as far as this goes, let's go edit barrier, let's go all the way around. I want to make it, you know, a good two and a half meters. Now from here to here, I'd like that to be corrugated. Move from there to there, corrugated. From there to there, corrugated as well. From here to here, corrugated, and this one corrugated as well. So we sort of have, I guess, areas to walk around. Maybe if we put this side corrugated too, because I think we're going to have to put in, you know, a decent area for these guys to be able to have a bit of hard cover. I'm thinking so. Alright, so we can't actually get onto that grid, which is a little bit annoying. Alright, we should be able to join join that up anyway. Alright, we're going to extend the path a little bit here, and I'll put in. I need to put in um, custom fences anyway. I think this is the hardest thing about um. Not knowing exactly how big we need things to be, like this, we're sort of off the grid a little bit there. So let's go the whole way out. Like 
this Oop, like that. Get rid of that. Uh, let's go like this to there. Let's sort of move that. Now I want to go back to here. I just want to move this corner out like that. get that a little bit closer but it's sort of that move that back in a little bit there we go so we should be able to move that corner in and hopefully be able to nope still not available yet let's move this corner back in again that see how that goes there we go beautiful that's what we need so that's like the full enclosure for these guys so I think we have moved everything to quarantine so that's fine and we need to go to the Galapagos tortoise which is down here Galapagos giant tortoise 230 square meters but I think probably do a little bit better than that um, as far as the paths go let's continue this path out this way we'll probably go three wide that way we've got people can look on either side because we're going to have the Galapagos tortoise you know, over here So we need it, probably not quite as big as that, but I mean I don't mind if it is that big to be honest, because um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, might go 7 and just do it that big because I need to make sure we have a bit of a, a, bit of a hobble for them I guess. Like that, there we go, and bring this out. Alright, so barriers again, we need to go with another chain link fence. Right, we need to, I think there's a way that we can shorten this using a hotkey, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. some reason we can't do that which is weird all right let's go to here there we go we can join those like that so that's pretty good now I want to go with from here around to this back side let's go with corrugated I want to go with a bit of terrain editing certainly want to give these guys you know, a bit of a, a bit of a hole they can get down into don't know how people are going to go with you know being happy to be able to see them or not I'll probably bring this up a little bit So really not going to be able to see them down in there, but let's sort of bring this back a little bit. So we sort of need to, let's go flatten the foundation. Give them a flat sort of area in the back here. We sort of need to just smooth smooth this whole area out and hopefully they'll be able to see down in there at least so hopefully I can you know keep you guys here for you know designing the habitats and stuff and then um, 
once that's done we can I can do like a little bit of a time lapse at the end of each each episode and that sort of stuff so now when we're sort of standing here we can sort of see down in there I think let it down a little bit more smooth it out a little bit again right, that's probably not too bad I guess we should be able to see depending on how tall people are let's go sort of want to put in just like a little little pond of water here I don't think they really actually use it but Can't hurt to give him a little bit of a little bit of water over in that corner. All right, so we've got the um, keeper entrance here. Going to need another one for here as well. We certainly don't want to put it around the back because keeper's not going to be able to get in overly well. Let's put it at the front, same as the other side. Uh, around about there, that'll do. Alright, let's double click this barrier and edit this because I want to. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Go around this way. There we go. Make those a little bit smaller. Can I actually raise that up to two meters there? There we go. Now from here around, because it's so small, um, climb proof. No, on the left. Let's go left. So obviously people can't. Well, probably, probably still could climb it, but it should prevent them from trying to climb it. Alright, so that looks pretty good to me. Um, I don't know what these guys need. I guess we'll just have to, you know, fast forward time a little bit until they're ready to, to come out. And then um, we can go from there. So I want to do a staff path as well. There we go. So at least the staff can go that way. How can they not find accessible staff room? There we go. Alright, so there's two ready to leave. Let's pause for a second. So who are they? Both African wild dogs, male and female. We can move them into here. Beautiful. Wait for these other two to be ready. There we go, they're both ready to go. Get these guys into there. Alright, let's go into here and we'll go to African Wild Dog. Let's go enclosure. Don't like calling it habitat. I well, guess it is a habitat, but it's more of an enclosure for me. Galapagus. I think it's Galapagus. Tortoise. Uh, enclosure done. Alright, so let's, let's just fast forward a little bit till we get these other guys in. Probably need um, zoo. Let's go. Staff. Def def certainly going to need another keeper. We're going to need three keepers. So we have one for here, one for here, one for there. I want to have one for each. So quickly go create a work zone so that's you so that can be work zone um, keeper exhibit snakes Oop. done let's go staff create a work zone let's go keeper African Wild dogs. There we go. And 
another one for this guy. So all those rooms over here. Go keeper. Got Galapagos tortoise. Done. So those guys hopefully. Uh, yep, cool. Then we need like mechanics for each one too, but I think the mechanic sort of floating should be fine. Um, Alright, so we've got one on its way. Second tortoise should be picked up pretty soon. Claim reward for an extra thousand. Here comes our second tortoise. Boom. All right, pause that. So what do these guys need? They've really got nothing at the moment. Um, terrain's inappropriate, so they hate the long grass. They want some soil, so let's paint. Paint some soil down along the front. Let's go grass short. They want a hard shelter too, so we can do something for them up the back corner, I guess. Get rid of all this thick grass, I hate it. Um, there we go, so what do they want? They want some trees as well, so they want some just grassland stuff from Africa. Um, we can look at that off camera, I guess. I'll do that as a bit of a time lapse. Um, we need to go to habitat, don't we? We need to go species, African wild dog. We don't have a lot of stuff for them. Um, certainly want a water pipe. Can we put it like right over here? Maybe not. Maybe on the back corner. Somewhere out of the way. Let's go with a small food tray. Pretty much all they've got at the moment, which is fine. Um, the Galapagos tortoise probably needs the same thing. Let's put their water like down in here. And our food tray, we can put that at the top. Let's see what these guys want as far as terrain goes. Um, they want some sand. So let's go with some fine sand around here. Bit of a path down into there. Let's get rid of all this other stuff. So I want to go with like a bit of rock around the top there. Probably not too much. Um, a little bit more sand. Drop that back. to get like, these edges in. If we go level 2, it should be a little bit easier. So I don't want too much rock. I certainly want like a lot of sand down in, the, in here. This, this is where they're going to be sort of hiding most of the time, I suppose. Alright, there we go. It's not too bad. Alright, that's pretty good. So let's quickly, before we go anywhere, um, we need to get a vet onto Galapagos. We're going to need to hire another vet, which means we need another research centre too though, which is uh, a little bit frustrating. I think we can just do the bare minimum for now and hopefully we can work on it from there. But right out guys, I'll um, leave you guys here. So I'll come back and we can work on uh, a bit of a time lapse here with some shelter and that sort of stuff for these dogs and also for the tortoises as well. So if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this series so far. And if you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.